Welcome fellow adventurer and dungeon master to another episode of Pathfinder 2nd Edition Character Concept for you, where I create level 1 characters for you to use as heroes, NPCs or just as inspiration. My name is Model42 and today we look at Procy, a gnome beast can Rogan, without tooting my own horn too much, one of my absolute favorite characters I ever created. But as with all my characters, feel free to change her in any way you want, she is meant for you, so feel free to make her your own amazing character. Prossy has a rogue class DC of 17, the maximum for a first level character, has normal strength, is amazingly quick and agile, quite healthy and fit, of average intelligence, with some instincts here and there, and is a very cute and pretty person to be around. When it comes to her skills, she is stunningly talented in acrobatics, stealth, and thievery, but also very good in deception, diplomacy and performance, with some talents in nature and survival. The rest is based on her skills or simple training and still makes her extremely versatile outside of combat as well. She speaks four languages, common, Gnomish, Sylvan, and Wangi, is quite perceptive and also has low light vision, has a decent fortitude, amazing reflexes and is quite strong-willed, moves with a speed of 25 feet, or 5 spaces on the grid, and has a decent hit points pool of 18, all in all, quite good. As is her combat potential, with an unarmored DC of 17 she is quite decently equipped to dodge, she prefers not to wear armor, since it hinders her, but a good leather armor might make a good addition in the future, and is also trained with simple weapons, unarmed attacks, the rapier, the sap, the short bow and the short sword. All her attacks have a really good attack of plus 7, with her close combat attacks using her dagger, or her fangs in hybrid form, dealing tons of damage and also dealing precision damage against flat-footed targets. She also can attack from afar and since she has a decent potential for critical hits, only being second to a ranged fighter, she can deal a lot of damage with that as well. Because Prossy is a gnome, she gains low light vision, making her able to see normally and in light, and she gains the change shape action from her beastkin heritage, which we look at in a moment, as her first ancestry feat we chose, critter shape, from her beastkin side, which allows her change shape form to also function like the spell, pest form, making her able to transform not only into her hybrid form you see on screen, but also into a raccoon, which is cute, cute and even more cute, as her skill feat, because she is a hunter, she gains survey wildlife, which is an upgrade to the seek action, and we look at it later, we chose thief as her rogue racket, which is stunning in her case, stating that all her finesse weapons deal damage with dexterity instead of strength if we desire, also she has the feature sneak attack, which states that all her agile and finesse weapons, even ranged ones, deal plus 1d6 precision damage if her target is flat-footed, and that damage will increase over the course of the game. Surprise attack is another feature, that simply states, that when she used deception or stealth to determine her initiative, for the first round, all targets count as flat-footed for her, as her class feat we chose, nimble dodge, which we look at in a moment. If we take a look at her unique actions, first up we have changed shape, which allows her for one action to transform into her hybrid form and back, and her gnome form. She does not have sharp canine teeth and her tail is also gone, but that will be pretty much it for her looks. In her hybrid form she gains the fangs attack. Because of critter shape she can also transform into a raccoon for 10 minutes, though only once every hour, which changes her stats as seen on screen. I personally would use this more for role-playing reasons, but should she have to fight, you see the stats right there. Survey My Life is a specialized seek action that is a 10 minute activity, where she looks for signs of animals and can analyze them, making a survival check against a DC determined by the DM based on how obvious the signs are. On a success, she can then make a recall knowledge with a penalty of minus 2 to gain more information. This penalty will vanish once she is a master in survival. Nimble Dodge is a reaction that she can only use if she can see someone attacking her and then gain a plus 2 bonus to her armor class against that attack. Really good stuff. Prossy is not the strongest woman around, but for a gnome she is quite athletic because of her life in the wild, so she can carry the normal bulk of 5 without penalty and up to a 10 max, with 4 bulk and 1 light being used for gear at the moment, 
She also still has 8 copper and 13 silver pieces, which is not much. She has equipped a short bow with 20 arrows, a dagger, wears the pictured hunter robes, jewelry and piercings, and has the white tribal tattoos which look beautiful on her darker skin. She also carries around a backpack, bedroll, belt pouch, compass, flint and steel, a wooden flute which she made herself out of a tropical tree, rations for a week, five sacks, a sheath for her dagger, two pieces of soap, a towach, water skin, a fine green and golden dress in Mwangi style for special occasions, a white and ordinary nightgown for bedtime, white winter furs for colder weather, and a rain goat for strong rain. Before we look at her personality, let's check her stats and facts first. As usual, she is a gnome with the Beast Can heritage, which is rare and needs the permission of your dungeon master to be used, is a hunter with the traits, gnome, humanoid, beast and beastkin. She is a small rogue who prays to the eternal rose, Shellen, being a fan of music and dance and how peaceful and happy it is. Being chaotic good, she does everything to help others and will not be restricted by laws in doing that. Prossy is a fee child gnome who was born in a small village near Lake Okota in Mwangi, is 19 years of age and a woman who is quite tall for a gnome, which might come from her heritage. She is 1 meter and 7 centimeters high, or 3 feet 5 inches, and weighs 29 kilograms, or 64 pounds. As are most of my characters, she is bisexual, though you can change it to whatever you prefer or see her as. If you want to make a male version of her, it should be quite easy as well, though changing her stats will require a bit of reverse engineering, which, thanks to the amazing system Pathfinder 2nd Edition has, is not that difficult. With my beloved 10 points method to determine her personality, I chose 2 points from gnomes, 2 from beastkin, 2 from the rogue, and added 4 of my own and arrived at something. That makes me quite happy in a big way. She embraces new things to learn each and every day, which might also mean changing subjects in the matter of a heartbeat, and she moves just as quickly, being quite angry if people cannot keep up or keep her waiting. She prefers companionship of close friends and will try to spend as much time as she can with them, but she might feel even closer to the raccoon in herself, making her more curious, more hungry and more playful as many others. She also hones her skills in intense practice, for example by running through and on the branches in the trees while shooting arrows at targets she set up. As mentioned before, she does not care much for law and lives by her own codex, that is designed to keep the balance, be kind, and be the best you can be. In her hours of peace she loves to play on her self-made flute, but most of her melodies, as pretty as they are, either are soothing or melancholic in nature, telling about a deep longing in her heart, where she also is a true romantic swooning over couples in love and wishing for the days she finds herself a good soulmate. When she is doing her job or travels the land, she only kills if she needs to and only hunts what she needs to fulfill her quota or still her hunger. If there is one thing she absolutely hates, and I mean this in the definition of hatred, then it is if other people touch and grab her soft and fluffy tail without her permission, since she sees her tail as a form of sex characteristic. She could easily transform herself into her pure gnome form, but she prefers her wild side and sees it as the form she truly is, not changing for others just because they might be ignorant or entitled. If you do not want to copy her stats from the screen, you can just hop on over to my Facebook, write me a nice hello and ask for her character sheet, which I will send to you as a PDF as soon as possible, for free, no charge, just for you. And again, feel free to change her into whatever you like, she is meant for inspiration and fun only. Thank you for staying with me till the end, and if you enjoyed this video or want to help out, a simple click on the like button is all you need to do. Very easy, isn't it? If you want more content and guides, just subscribe, and also you can leave a comment, telling me what you think of this character and how you would use her in your games. We will see each other somewhere on the roads of Galarian. Until then stay safe my friends.